Morning guys. Well, something that we've been saving for for three years to finally get done is going to get started today. So, I'm going to put this in pieces together so you guys can kind of watch. But all that is going to start disappearing here in a few minutes and that is all going to turn into pond. And two is one, one is none. I got the well, I got the lake a quarter of a mile away. And this is my backup water supply, everything here. So we'll kind of follow on through, but this gets started today. Happy lunch hour, guys. Okay, so now I'll show you this part of stuff because uh, you guys asked. We've talked about many times about growing your own seedlings, and I want to give you this. This is what Mrs. P and I have got to plant today, okay? And you just figure this out at Walmart prices at four bucks a seedling of what we got here. All right. So I'm looking at a tray full of Marconi peppers, a tray full of tomatoes. Uh, which ones are these? These are, there's got to be a tag on it. There it is. These are the black crims. So these are the tomatoes I sent you guys last year. Uh, let's see. Then we've got a tray here of banana peppers. And here's a tray full of, there's a tag in there somewhere. Uh, my guess is these are bells. I got to find the tag, but I'm not going to hold you guys forever. Let's see. So then here's another tray full of peppers. Here's another tray full of peppers. There's another tray full of peppers. There's a tray of tomatoes. There's a combination of tomatoes and pickles and a tray of cucumbers. So, I'll give you that as an idea. I got over 300 plants here that have to go in. So, figure at four bucks a pop at Walmart, that's $1,200. Not exactly what I'd call the correct idea for what I need to do. So this is why growing seedlings, and those of you guys who are up north still have time to grow your seedlings. But, you know, very simple here. Like I said, cost the seeds. Okay, I've got maybe 30, 40 bucks in seeds in these, not even, no, in these plants. Uh, what do I have? Five and four, six, seven. So, so there's probably 10 times. Yeah, so probably about 30 bucks in seeds, maybe 10 bucks in soil tops and some cups all right so i've got under 50 bucks which is 1200 dollars worth okay according to walmart prices so i wanted to show you that and give you an idea of getting the garden started then i want to move outside and show you the beginning to day two on the pond build that you guys few of you guys asked me to keep you abridged of yesterday. I showed you the beginning at the beginning of the movie or movie beginning of the video here. So here's what the beginning of day two looks like. A little bit different than yesterday. There's still four or five trees that have to come down. Uh, that big triple oak that you see there in the center, that's actually going to be like a little island so we can keep the ducks and the uh, turtles or whatever to go but this is this was the whole idea guys is I want to get all my infrastructure in before everything goes to hell and if I can get the pond done and the garage done yeah don't even ask uh then I've got everything I need to do for where to put solar panels where to have uh, spare backup source of water, whole nine yards this way. And that way, literally, if it comes to the point where I could never leave my property again, I'm okay. So today is going to be a big deal on planting for us. And the guys will start, finish tearing up all these trees. And then when they go through, what's going to happen, they will all come out here. And you can see how you know, with all the trees in here, uh, you can imagine when the canopy's full, they will be totally shaded. 
So not a whole lot grows back in there in the summer because of all the shade. So what we're going to do is turn that into a complete, if you will, shade garden. So in the yard where we really can't do much of anything else with all the trees, it's either take out all the trees, which I don't want to do, or I can grow all sorts of things that don't mind shade. So like I said the other day, my flowers that will attract pollinators. A lot of my medicinal herbs can go back in here. Uh, all that. So this is the idea. I'm literally taking about 40% of the yard, I guess you will, and turning it into either a shade garden or a pond. And, you know, I mean, obviously you can see the vegetable gardens, those two at least. But this, this is what it's going to take for me to have everything I need to go forward, if you will, in an SHTF situation. So, you guys asked me to share. thought I would show you this real quick, uh, just real short, but, uh, you know, some good news stuff. Fun. Have a good one. Pinball out.